what's happening fellas it's your boy kd let's get right into it so if you're new to my channel the point of my videos is to help you become a top tier man become the best version of yourself and live a fulfilled life also if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe if you're not already and please hit that like button to support the channel guys i appreciate all you guys support tuning into my videos sharing the videos liking comments everything man really appreciate you guys all right, guys, six ways to turn a woman on. Now, obviously, every woman is different. So certain things you'll do with one woman may not work with another woman. All right, fellas. But there are some general things that most women will get turned on by. All right. Understanding how to turn a woman on has a lot to do with hypergamy. And if you don't understand what hypergamy means, hypergamy is based on how women choose men based on attraction levels and the different things that they're attracted to. Women are typically attracted to men who are better than them in certain areas, if not all areas. All right, fellas, and that leads me to my first point. The first way you can turn a woman on is being unbothered and indifferent. Now, how this relates to hypergamy, fellas, this means that you are more emotionally intelligent than a woman. All right, guys, because in reality, women are very emotional and women expect men to be more logical. But when you are just as, if not more emotional than a woman, this is a clear turnoff for her. So when you get into different situations and your woman is panicking or she's crying or she's being frantic or overly emotional, that is your opportunity to turn her on and get her aroused by you being solid, you being stoic and you having some emotional intelligence. All right, guys, and this also had a lot to do with you not being too overly excited or too overly angry or being too frustrated. All right, this is not saying that you can't have emotions and you can't have feelings as a man. But as a man, you don't put your feelings and your emotions priority above logic and above reason. And this is something that women really get turned on by. Women love when a man can remain calm in chaos, guys, because for the simple fact is women create chaos. That is their job. You know, some women create chaos to the point where you don't even want to deal with them. But a lot of women will shit test you. All right. And that's what I mean by chaos. Women will shit test you. Sometimes a relationship can be going so great or your interaction or your dating experience with a woman can be going so great that she just wants some emotional, you know, a new little emotional roller coaster. So she's going to create chaos. She's going to shit test you. She's going to challenge you in certain ways, not in a way, like I said, to where you don't want to deal with her, but in a way to where she can test your emotional intelligence. And when you pass these tests and you remain stoic and you remain calm and silent, you'll turn her on more because that's what a woman is looking for. Because when you are emotional and intelligent, that means that you can provide security and you can provide safety for that woman without being frantic and without panicking. All right, guys, so this is a big deal. This is why I listed this number one, because this is very important and it's a big mistake a lot of guys make. They're too emotional, they're too frantic, they're too undecisive, and your woman can smell it on you guys. That's how you want women to be. You want women to be frantic and undecisive and confused and lost in chaos. When you get in chaos, you need to be able to handle it because a woman knows if you can handle her chaos, you'll be able to handle the chaos of the world. This is why women test you. They want to know that you're a suitable partner to be able to protect her, to be able to provide for her, to be able to keep her safe and secure. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now, guys, I just want to get this disclaimer out the way. Like I said, women are different. All women are different. So these six things that I'm giving you today, these are things that I do to turn my women on. Okay, these may not work for you. You may do different things that turn your women on or whatever. But for the guys who want to know how to turn most women on, these are the things that I found more successful that I've done in the past that work better for me for most women that I deal with. Another thing that's going to turn a woman on that you can do that I've done several times in my past is I've checked other men in front of my girl. All right. Now, I just want to be clear about this whole checking another man in front of your woman. All right. I am not saying that you should go looking for trouble trying to pick fights with men just to prove to your woman that you a tough guy. All right, guys. But this is the thing. OK, and this is the truth. Women love men who are not afraid to stand up for himself. OK, or to stand up for her. This is why women are so attracted to fighters, okay, and guys who have physicality. Because what you show is that in a sign of danger or in a sign of trouble or threat, 
you'll be able to protect her. It's not the fact that women just like, you know, men that are assholes and men that pick fights. That's actually a turn off for women because now at that point, you're doing too much. But when you can stand up for yourself and you're not afraid of confrontation, women love this, okay? And I'll give you a perfect scenario. Let's say you're in the line at Walmart. I use Walmart for an example since that's most common to a lot of you guys. Let's say you're in the line at Walmart and then somebody walks in front of you and skips, skips you guys in the line and bumps into your girl while they're skipping you guys in the line. All right, guys, that is an opportunity for you to stand up for you, not only you, but that your woman as well. And, you know, when you stand up to the guy and you tell him, hey, bro, you know, we were you, we were here, you know, you need to wait your turn or however you approach the situation. All right, guys, you will turn your girl on a lot more versus you not say anything and you let it, you know, just pass. OK, guys. Now, like I said, you got to be careful about this because you got to pick your fights. OK, you got to pick your battles. You never want to put yourself in a situation where your your life can be in danger just because you're trying to be tough for a woman. That's why you got to use judgment. OK, guys. So I am never in the business for saying you should back down from a fight. OK, now, if the situation causes to the point where your life is in danger and it's not worth fighting or it's not worth, you know, talking trash or, you know, retaliating or whatever or, or checking the guy or whatever the situation is. OK, you got to use judgment like, you know, when a situation is not worth it. But if it's a simple situation in the grocery store and somebody's just being rude or somebody's disrespecting your woman or disrespecting you in front of your woman, you got to check the guy, bro. Because if you don't, I'm going to tell you this, fellas, if you don't, your woman will lose attraction from, for you and you will turn her off. OK, and it's crazy, guys, because it goes all the way to the extreme to where I've seen women literally, bro, no BS. I've seen women leave their men when he lost a fight okay this happens a lot in combat sports as you guys know i'm into combat sports i used to fight mma and kickboxing and i used to see this a lot i used to see a guy i'm talking about one many fights in the past too bro all right they couldn't even give him the bench he couldn't even give him the benefit of the doubt bro i've seen guys win many fights in the past go ahead and lose a fight lose an mma fight or lose a boxing match or losing kick lose a kickboxing match and his girl leave him after that fight, okay? Simply because he lost a fight to another man. He was dominated by another man, all right, guys? So you got to stand up for yourself. And it doesn't always have to be physical, okay? Sometimes it's just verbal situations to where you just have to verbally check somebody and let them know to not disrespect you or to not disrespect your woman. But that's 10 times better than backing down and not checking the guy. All right. As I said, use judgment. Don't be that guy, that springy guy who's just jumping in the chaos and jumping in the mess, picking fights with people, trying to check everybody who look at his girl the wrong way. Don't be that guy. OK, because you can literally lose your life like that over some female. But like I said, use judgment. Know when and when not to say something. Know when and when not to uh, to pick a fight. Okay, because some fights, they ain't even worth it, all right? It's better to walk away, keep your life versus jumping in a fight just because somebody said something you don't like, all right, guys? But the point is, when you stand up for yourself or you stand up for your woman, bro, it's going to turn her on because you're showing her that you're willing to protect her, all right? You're willing to, to risk a little bit for her safety or for her honor. All right, the next way to turn a woman on, and I've said this many, many times, and you guys know I'm a big proponent of this, is smelling good. All right, guys, the way you smell, the way you smell can make or break your attraction with a woman, fellas. All right, straight up 100%. I cannot express this enough. And the reason why I know this is I have seen really unattractive men okay not greatly put together men but because they smell so good because they have such high quality fragrance on and they rocking it correctly they still attract women all right it is something about a way a man smell just smells period all right guys that is very alluring to women women have a very very fine keen sense of smell all right, guys, like women can then depending on the time of month, depending on if they're pregnant, depending on if they're ovulating or going through menstruals or whatever they do. That's going to determine how heightened they, their, their sense of smell is. All right. But women got a real good keen sense of smell. So you got to understand this, guys. I mean, men have a good keen sense of smell, too. But I think women's a little bit better. 
All right, fellas, so if you don't smell good, and I'm not saying you got to smell like flowers, anything like that, guys, but you just take a shower, G. Put deodorant on, all right, guys, put deodorant on. The best, and I'm going to show you guys real quick, the best deodorant to me, in my opinion, in the world is degree. All right, guys, degree, and you got to get the white one because the white one, I wear a lot of black t-shirts. All right, so I use the white because it doesn't stain my t-shirts. It doesn't stain my white shirts when I'm exercising and whatnot. You know, so I get the white, the white, uh, what is it? What is it? Ultra clear black and white. All right, 72 hours. Now, I put deodorant on twice a day because I shower twice a day, which I recommend. Okay, guys, so I use a little bit more frequent than every, every 72 hours. But no stains fellas all right degree now there's the green bottle of degree that you can get i'm actually put a link in the description so you guys can go get this you go grab this from amazon if you don't want to go all the way to the corner store you can get a bunch of them go get a pack of three a pack of two a pack of five however many i'm gonna put the link to amazon in the description you can go check that out but wear deodorant fellas a lot of you guys don't wear deodorant now i know it's it's according or you know it's you know, some people got certain religions where they don't wear certain types of deodorant. I understand that, but I, I get why those guys don't wear deodorant because some deodorants are made with alcohol or some, you know, certain material. I mean, not materials, but chemicals or substances. So I get it. But I think everybody, no matter what your religion is, no matter who you are, you can find a good deodorant, guys. But for most guys, degree. Go get degree, guys. I am telling you, especially when you guys are going to the gym. Put deodorant on before you go to the gym, fellas. All right, but you got to smell good. The best way to want, not the best way, but one of the best ways to turn a woman on is how you smell. Another way, fellas, your fragrances. I know some of you guys are not into colognes. You're not into fragrances. You know, you just slap some deodorant on, slap some lotion on, and you good. But I recommend getting a signature fragrance. All right, guys, this right here is my top tier charisma fragrance. All right, this is the half ounce bottle. I got the one ounce bottle, also the two ounce bottle. This is my year round slash winter time fragrance. All right, year round because this smells good in, in all seasons. I wear this year round. You know, I, I usually wear this when I'm getting out the shower in the morning, when I'm getting out the shower in the evenings. This is probably the best cologne that I've ever worn. To be honest with you, not saying it because it's mine, but it is the best cologne that I've ever worn to be honest with you you know like just go check out the reviews on my instagram and i'm gonna leave a link in the description so you guys can go grab this from my store whenever you like all right i also got my top tier superman fragrance which is a summertime fragrance right now got a great deal on that free shipping worldwide for you guys on the top tier charisma or top tier superman so go grab that but fellas Get a fragrance. Get a signature fragrance. Trust me, women will love it. Ain't nothing better when you smell it good and you go to a woman's house and she takes you and she say her pillow smells just like you and she can't get you off her mind. All right, I didn't I didn't heard this many many times. I didn't have women say my bed she smell like you, my shirt smell like you. I still smell you in my house. All right, guys, when you when it's when you get like that, trust me, bro, women get hooked on you because most guys don't have their fragrance game together, to be honest with you. So you're going to stand out for most men and this will definitely turn the woman on. All right, fellas, let's move on to the next one. All right. Number four way to turn women on is being direct. OK, being direct, decisive and up front. All right, guys, you got to be direct and decisive. That's, that's what I like to call the double D's. Direct and decisive. Women love direct and decisive men. All right. Old cliche scenario. Babe, what do you want to eat? I don't know. She's never going to know what she wants to eat, fellas. And the fact that dudes still try to force women to know or try to get irritated with women because they don't know or complain about women not knowing what they want to eat. Fellas, that women don't know what they want for anything, guys. Women are the most indecisive creatures in the world, all right? So you have to be the man and you have to be decisive, okay, guys? And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. Excuse me. One of the things 
that I've come to realize, and this is just my opinion. You guys correct me if I'm wrong or if you have a different perspective on this. But I think most women, they say they don't know, they don't know what they want to eat just so they can see if you will be decisive or just so you can be decisive and pick something. You know, you know, I've been in long relationships with women, as you guys know, I'm purple pill. So I've been in long, you know, intimate relationships with women and I've studied these girls, bro. And I think a lot of times they only do that because they want to see how decisive you can be. They want you to take the lead. They want you to make the decision. Some women say they don't know what they want to test you sometimes just to see how you're going to react, just to see if you're going to instantly pick something or you're going to be indecisive and confused like her. All right, guys, so you got to be decisive. You have to know what you want in every scenario, in every situation, in every area of your life, fellas. You got to know what you want, okay? And this is not just about turning women on. This is about you, fellas. You have to know what you want, okay, guys? Like, you can run game. You can do all this stuff. But if you don't know what you want and you're not direct and decisive, you're not going to be attracted to most women, okay? Especially feminine women. I've come to find out and I've come to realize that most feminine women want decisive men because decisiveness is a characteristic of a masculine man, okay, guys? So all you guys talk about how masculine you are and you are alpha and all this stuff, but you still get frustrated when your girl don't know what she wants to eat, all right, guys? So if you want to turn your, your girl on, if you want to keep your girl wet, you got to be direct and you got to be decisive. And the number five way to turn a woman on is keeping a masculine frame. All right. And this has a lot to do with passing shit tests and being, uh, you know, stoic and, you know, uh, uh, indifferent. You know, your masculine frame is probably the most important asset that you will have as a man. Okay, guys, because if you don't have a lot of money, if you're not in the best shape of your life, if you don't have a lot of things that make you a man, but you still have a masculine frame, you can get away with a lot. Okay, a lot. The reason why a lot of guys lose and turn off women is because they don't know how to hold frame. Okay, guys, like I see this a lot with a lot of good looking dudes. Okay, y'all, you guys always want to, you know, I want to be, you know, I want to learn how to be attractive in this area. I want to look attractive. I want a better physique or what's the best way to attract women. But you need to understand frame. Okay, frame will actually keep women, not just attract them, but keep them. Okay, and keep them aroused. Okay, one of the reasons why is because your competition is low. Most guys don't know how to hold frame. Most guys were never taught to hold frame because most guys were raised by women. So they've never been shown or experienced of seeing a man hold masculine frame. So you got that, that advantage there. All right, guys, another thing about holding masculine frame is women know that for most women, it is very difficult to hold frame because you have to bypass emotions and you have to bypass feelings. Okay, guys, that is the biggest thing about holding frame, put inside your emotions, being stoic. And women love this about men. You know, now I'm not saying you can't have fun. I'm not saying you can't be enjoyable and have a good time and show your emotions, but you have to do it in a masculine way. Okay, guys, hold your frame. So I give you an example. Let's say you piss your girl off. You do something, you cheat on her or whatever. You get caught texting another chick and she want to argue and scream at you and have yelling matches and fuss. When you argue back with her and you have a yelling match with her and you get out of your frame, that is the easiest way to turn her off. Okay, even though she's arguing back with you and y'all going at it and everything like that, it is way better if you hold your frame and you stay calm and you just explain yourself or elaborate your points in a masculine, calm, stoic way. Okay, this is way more attractive than if you start yelling back with her like a female. Okay, guys, you got to hold your frame. Even in texting, you can hold your frame in texting. When your woman is sending you these long text messages back, and as soon as you get the urge to beep, 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 you want to work your thumbs, want to send her some paragraphs back, bro, hold your frame. Just say, okay, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Okay, guys, be simple about it, and you will blow her mind because most women are not used to that. You know, one of the things that I hear from most of the women that I deal with is they tell me, and I'm going to say this humbly, they tell me, you are, you are so different than most of the men I interact with. And the reason why they say this, I always ask them why, because I'm interested. I want to know why. I already know what they're going to say, but I want to know why. And what they usually say is, is they say, you're a lot more calmer in situations. 
than most men are. Like you don't easily get, you know, you don't easily react to situations or you don't re easily react to the stupid things I say or the dumb things I do. And you know, that shows me is like, bro, women actually don't want you to care about their little stupid, you know, outbursts or, you know, tantrums as much as you think that they do. Okay, guys, so when your woman is tripping, she having a tantrum, she tripping and going crazy, bro, she don't want you to care as much as you think she do, bro. Trust me on that. The, work, the reason why guys fall into this trap is because they think that the more energy that they give their woman or more attention that they give their woman when she's tripping, the more she's going to be attracted to him or the more she's going to think he cares. Bro, that don't show you care. That just show you don't have any emotional intelligence, okay? You don't know how to hold frame, okay? Women will test your frame, okay, guys? Because if you walking around and you this, you know, masculine alpha male and you walking around with your masculine frame, bro, trust me, a woman will test your frame. She is going to test you to see if you really bought that life. Are you just some emotional little boy who faking or who fronting and acting like he tough or acting like he's solid? All right, guys, so hold your frame under any circumstance in all scenarios in all areas in life. All right, hold your frame. This is definitely going to turn a woman on. Now, you know I always save the game for the end. For all you guys who made it to the end of the video, number six, way to turn a woman on. And this is something that many men don't talk about because somebody, nobody's ever taught you this. Okay, guys, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to keep it G. When you having sex with a woman, okay, guys, the best way to turn her on is don't come okay do not come now let me explain what i mean when a woman is pleasing you or doing what she's whatever she's doing with you in the bed her goal is to get you to come okay guys that's the goal is to get you to come but when you do not come okay and you blow her back out okay i'm talking about you blow her back out you ravish her you handle your business and you don't come you will turn her on 10 times more than if you did. And let me explain this. Most guys, when they do come after they smash a girl, what do most guys do? Most guys fall asleep and start snoring. Or most guys get really relaxed and then all the sexual tension stops. Okay, guys, he get that post-nut clarity. He either falling asleep or he going by it or whatever he doing, okay? But he's not still doing whatever he needs to do, okay, a straight ravishing a woman. Women love, women love men, one, who cannot bust so easily and not come so quick, and two, men who can, who have energy, like men who can keep making love to her or doing whatever you're doing, doing with her without you releasing all of your tension. It's like women will trust you. Women will be way more sexually attracted to you when you blow her back out, make her come several times, and you don't. Okay, she will actually be chasing you one and all the time, trying to figure out why she can't make you come. Okay, this is something that guys don't talk about. This is real G game. Real G game, okay? Because all real G's know, all real G's know, it is better not to come when you're having sex with a woman, bro. 100%. If you don't believe me, try it out for a week with your girl. I guarantee you, bro, she will be chasing you. She will, And, and this is the thing you're going to have to deal with at the beginning. You're going to have to deal with a little bit of her insecurity because she's going to question you. She's going to want to know why you're not coming. She's going to think you, you know, you're having sex with another girl. You know, and that's an easy way to explain it. You know, you just tell her. You tell her, I don't feel bad. I don't, I don't want you to feel bad about yourself or anything like that. It's just that, you know, I, I just wanted to please you. You know, I just wanted to please you. I want to make sure you good, you know. But she's still going to want to know why you're not coming or whatever. But when you pose it like that and you frame it like that, fellas, I guarantee you, bro. I guarantee you this is the best way to turn a woman on, okay. Because it shows a woman another thing. You got self-control, okay. You got self-control over your body. Like when women ask me. To be honest, women ask me, they're like, you know, why you don't never come? You never come. And I tell her, like, you know, I, I do it when I want to. You know, my job is to please you. I just want to make sure you good and you get yours. All right, I'll get mine, whatever. That's that second priority. First priority is you. And, bro, when I tell you, the women, the women that I've done that with, which is probably most women that I've dealt with sexually, but the women that I've done with, that with, bro, they were hooked on me, bro. I had to pry them off of me, G. 
to be honest with you, all right, bro? So that's a little game for you guys. That's number six way, all right? And these are the things that I do, okay? You may do things that work differently or work better for you and the woman you deal with, but these are things that's worked for me and my experiences, you know, dealing with women in my life, all right, guys? So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget, the link is in the description for my website. You can go get one of my top tier fragrances. Also, you can book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me if you need help with any area in your life, whether it be fitness, women, business, money, self-development, whatever it is, guys. Whatever it is, I'm here, to, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to help you out. All right, guys, if you haven't liked the video, don't forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to get instant access to my videos, click the bell for notifications so you never miss out on the video. Thanks for watching again. It's your boy, KD. We out of here, baby.